Jennifer Granholm, USA Building a Nuclear Fusion Power Plant in 10 Years In an interview with the Associated Press, a peak agency in Vienna, the capital of Austria, where she was attending the 67th General Assembly meeting of the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, Granholm said that the U.S. government wants to benefit from nuclear fusion technology in the transition to clean energy, and that it will be available in the country within 10 years. He stated that they wanted to establish a nuclear fusion facility. Stating that it is possible to achieve Washington's vision of commercial nuclear fusion, Granholm stated that, on the other hand, the government has initiated studies to identify communities that can agree to host temporary storage areas across the country regarding the storage of radioactive waste released in current nuclear fission facilities. U.S. Secretary of Energy stated that the Joe Biden administration may announce details about an $8 billion hydrogen center program in October and said that they aim to reduce the price of clean hydrogen to $1 per kilo within 10 years. Considering the heat waves the UK has experienced this summer, it's clear we need to step up, he said of the UK's decision to postpone the ban on the sale of petrol and diesel cars from 2030 to 2035. Granholm stated that they are in favor of everyone moving forward as quickly as possible for the transition to clean energy. Current nuclear reactors work with the energy released when atoms of a heavy element are broken down into light elements, called nuclear fission. Since 1950, scientists have been working on nuclear fusion, which occurs every moment on the sun and is defined as the fusion of two light elements, hydrogen, into a heavier element, helium, and the release of enormously high energy. In order for nuclear fusion to occur, which is considered an endless source of clean energy because it does not emit carbon and does not emit radiation, an environment of high heat, energy and density must be created. While high gravitational pressure at the center of the sun allows fusion to occur at 10 million degrees Celsius, fusion is possible at at least 100 million degrees Celsius on Earth due to the low pressure. Last December, scientists at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California, USA, exceeded the fusion threshold by delivering 2.05 megajoules of energy and achieved fusion ignition by providing 3.15 megajoules of fusion energy output.